Welcome to Head to Face with Jason Lee. Today we're going to focus on the young voters, mm. young couple mm. out there in love, perhaps. 18 um, to 34 demographic. Mm. Um, where are they going to be putting their votes? Where are they going to be? Who, who's best going to serve those people, I suppose, is what what are going to be talking about today. They're struggling to pay their food, and that's a big issue, you know. And, 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 and Let, let alone the to... wedding. Well, that's right. <laughs> I mean, for example, you know, the wedding is a classic sort of uh, scenario whereby, you know, young couples could perhaps be looking at saving a bit of money. So you say take the wedding dress, for example. Classic. I mean, I can't think of anything um, other than, say, perhaps a condom, dare I say it, that you'd probably use once and just discard yeah. like that. Like and, 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 and I'd say a heck of a lot of people, um, you know, wouldn't be married if they didn't, if they had have used a condom. You know, so they would have <laughs> linked the a two. scenario there, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, I, I, I think back to my wedding. I mean, I did save some costs. Uh, I, I wasn't trying to be, like, a tight or anything, but... Um, you know, I had, I had been to a few weddings by the, by the time we got married, you mm. know, and I'd, mm. I'd seen where people spent their money. And obviously, you're going to have to hire a suit. I obviously use Frank Casey, yeah. as I always do, for all my, yeah. all my stuff um, with the groomsmen, mm. Frank Casey. But I thought, what the hell? Why not just um, get married in Frank Casey's store as well? Mm. You, use Frank Casey's And thereby suit combining, as combining the, venue. The, the venue and actually the suit hire at the same time. Because, of course, you'd be paying less for the hire because you'd be... You would be well, you're not for actually, least amount of time. Well, you're not actually taking the suit out of out, out of off location. You're actually using them there. Yeah. Um. You know, you spill some wine on Jake. You just swap it. Well, that's you know, right. Swap your waistcoat. And how many times do you get? You know, you're getting ready for a wedding, and you lose a cummerbund. Yeah. You know, or and you've a got your or, or a cufflink. You know. Fantastic. But I just want to get back to what you said about the wedding dress. Yeah. You know, it it it, it can be a phenomenally expensive exercise for what is essentially a one off you know, scenario that's that's only ever worn. In most, most cases. In most cases. And and actually what I suggested to my wife, which is what, and, and she thought it was a great idea, was that we go to a costume hire place. You, she thought it was a good idea. She, she thought it was yep. a good idea and she was keen. And, um, you know, at our wedding, she actually was dressed up as Xena Warrior Princess. Okay, so you themed it. Yeah, and she she's never looked more beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. You're not together now, though, are you? No, no, we broke up a couple of years ago, but it wasn't that, that it wasn't because of that. Really, my wedding, you know, at Frank Casey suit hire, mm. and one of the stipulations that Frank had to be there. Um, right. Okay. He okay. he didn't actually marry us, but yeah. he was actually because he doesn't have his um, his license, he's going for it. Yeah. But so he had to be there, standing by. So he's actually in the wedding party with me. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, he was and, one of my groomsmen. You know, for the money you save, having one extra guest, you know. Do the economics. Yeah. I mean, well, he's not really a guest, though, is he? Because it's his venue. Mm. I mean, mm. if you hire a venue, the venue manager is going to be there anyway. Mm. So, so Frank was there, um, mm. wearing one of his suits, obviously, you know. Mm. And we all just off the rack, get married, you know. Um, and these are the sort of the costs um, that you're going to have to um, think about to maintain a fulfilling marriage yeah. and indeed sex life. Well, that's right. And, you know, it's not just about the wedding, is it? There's other stresses involved with marriage, which I believe at some point you've touched on in some of the uh, some of the DVDs and so forth that you did with your... Um... Yeah, well, <laughs> as you know, I've been doing a DVD series uh, mm. about how you can best get the most out of your marriage um, emotionally and, of course, sexually. And um, I've recently released a new... Um, it's a tape, audio tape series, actually. It actually comes out in C60s. And basically it's called She Can Wear the Pants as long as I get into them once in a while. And basically this, this, this tape series basically helps you through a lot of those issues. I mean, it goes on about the erogenous zones, um, all the sort of stuff you, you'll, you'll need to know when, when you're married as opposed to before you're married, because sex does change once you're married, and you, you mm. know that probably better than anyone. <clears throat> I remember um, you telling me about tapes five and six and you know the, uh, the, the importance of combining emotion with physical touch. Yeah, that's on uh, tape five and know. six. It's, tape seven, I think we touch on um, one night stands. That, that kind of thing. And tape eight, it goes back to taking your time. You've got to remember when you're making love to a woman, perhaps um, making love to her nipples, you're not trying to tune in a shortwave radio, if you know what I mean. Mm. Take your time um, and have respect there, I suppose. Um, that's about all the time we've got um, at, for this show um, on our... Um, young voters uh, moving well, forward. Well, well, I hope that they certainly got some some ideas financially, um, Lee, so with regards to you know making life a bit easier in the future. Tomorrow, same time, Tomorrow, same place, same bat channel. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. us.